Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and welcome back. And I'm just going to say, I don't know where this video is going to go. But one thing I do want to be transparent about is the massive load of stress that I'm under. Like I've been literally having swelling issues in my legs from all of the work and... Uh, knee, I have problems with one of my knees gets like really inflamed if I do certain things too much. Usually going up and down a ladder with painting is one of them that will really irritate it. It's swollen and unhappy. You guys have not been sleeping well. I'm stressed out. I have a million things to do because not only with this renovation, but also just with life. Add to that owning my own business and you can't really take a vacation from your own business. I told my husband this morning what I really need right now is about a week off of work, paid, and just kind of, you know, focus on the house because the things that are still packed literally drive me crazy. It has my stress level like through the roof, I can't even tell you. So, um, I had a little mini breakdown yesterday, had another one this morning, and I'm really just trying to talk myself in, through this and just be like, okay. Stress is something we bring upon ourselves. We choose to worry about things. We choose to allow things to overwhelm us. And I just keep trying to remind myself, like, for the inflammation and stuff, I'm trying to do things to take better care of myself. I started the yoga back. I cut out some drinks that were probably had a bunch of crap in them that I didn't need. Focusing on getting my water in. I actually also bought some turmeric. Supposed to be good for inflammation. Kind of leery about taking it, but, eh, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, so, trying to do the things. Um, I did finally this morning, though, get around to listing five of the largest pieces of furniture we're selling. I listed them online and already have someone coming this evening. I listed the three cats that are for adoption on Facebook. And made a bunch of... Phone calls just for family stuff, doctors, pharmacies, all that, that I've been putting off for days and days. Got all that stuff done. Now I'm shifting back into work mode, focusing on work. I'm excited someone's coming to buy something this evening. <sighs> My husband says he's going to tag team with me this evening to unpack. So we'll see. I just really feel like the clutter is causing me so much stress. Because the half undone projects, honestly, they just bother me a little bit. But the boxes and not knowing where everything is. Like I still haven't found my third Wi-Fi booster. So my signal back here in my office is not great. And that's a constant struggle every day that I'm working. It's slow and laggy and it's pissing me off. But I don't know where that other booster is. I have no clue. So it's just it's things like that that really add up. And it's so super stressful you guys. life feels new and so much more optimistic because my husband and I tackled the kitchen last night and we got everything unpacked and look at that spice rack so exciting so I'm gonna turn the light on and show you around just the little projects we wrapped up last night all right we've got a pot rack here Multiple pots. We got the feet on the island, which are just so adorable. I think I showed that before. Look how cute. And then this whole area is cleaned up. So right here in the center is where the new buffet is going to go. And every single one of these boxes right here are trash or donate. And I'm taking them out this morning. 
And then here is a better look at the spice rack. I've got my dried herbs and flowers I grew. And then these are homemade salves I bought from someone else on Etsy, herbal treatments. And then um, just kitchen herbs and my fake plant hanging here. And then we've got a few things down here that are going to stay and potentially go on the buffet. So I've got them there. Those are the wall sconces for around the buffet. And over here we have our boxes. We'll burn these today. And this is a small pile of like holiday dishware that are going to go in the buffet in here. And then I've used the dining room table. These are very organized piles because this is all glassware that goes back in the laundry room. And then that is still the walnut shelf that can't go up on the above the buffet yet. And this is some gardening stuff I need to get outside. One thing I'm really happy with is all of the different organization tricks that we've used so far in this space. So right now we've got lids down there and I just ordered a lid organizer. And then we've got some cast iron pans up here and just like our Scentsy melts, wax melts. We've got maple, no. No, get your face out of there. We've got some different casserole dishes down here that we just run out of room for. And then excess cup storage here because we have tons of cups. And then we come over here under the kitchen sink. And this area is such a transformation. It's amazing. Got these pull-out organizers I showed you guys. And then um, I moved the bakeware I had here and I did my Tupperware. And we've got our organizer for Ziploc bags and stuff. Maple's like, what are you showing me, Mom? She's like, I want to see. She thinks I'm talking to her, probably. And then up here we have all of our cups. Tons and tons of too many cups. We've got some decor up there on the fridge, which I'm not sure what all of that will stay or not. We've really not even done finishing touches in here. I brought one of my Scentsy things in here. Um, what else was I going to show you? Oh, in this cabinet, I decided to do all of my cookie sheets. And look at that. So many. Nobody really needs that many. And over here, I still need to get an organizer for this cabinet. But in the process of purging everything, I found all of our cup lids. And just put them in a bowl until I can find a better system. So this one still needs an organizer. We did bring in more we finished unpacking basically this front bathroom so we've got more of our organizers up there now and hair things hung up so that's great so there's no more boxes right here in the hallway so I'm really eager to paint this hallway now because there's nothing in it I've still got three boxes in the living room and just too many plants and all the paint no maple so that's what's going on in here. I want to mention too, like when you're moving, do you guys ever just have that feeling like, you know, when you know things are missing and you don't have everything that you know you have and you can't find things, it's really frustrating. So like just a few days ago, I found my nail polish stuff and I gave myself a very much needed pedicure and that made me feel just so much better and more like myself. Then this morning I found... Um, the box that I keep the hair scissors in and I was able to trim up and clean up my eyebrows and pull the two random gray hairs I get like once a month in my eyebrows. Um, and I'm just like, woo, I feel like a whole new woman because just I, I'm finding where things are. We have to run to town today for a dentist appointment and so we're going to be like multitasking and so we're going to be doing some Amazon returns, dropping off donations and... I've got to find um, a couple of things. Oh, I've got to take our old cable boxes back. So I've got to find a few more things that I don't know where they're at in the next hour. So I decided instead of really like starting work for the day other than checking in on a few things I need to check on, I'm going to um, look through the living room boxes, not unpack. Um, if I find what I need, awesome. But either way, then I was going to try and get started on the laundry room. Just kind of like mini quick project to kind of just make it less bad. 
but we'll see. We also are going to haul out all these boxes on our way as we leave. So when we come back from our errands and stuff today, it should just feel so much better in here. And then in case if I hadn't mentioned it, which I'm pretty sure I did, the couch we plan on putting there won't fit. So we're going to be looking for like some side chairs. And I'm hoping because this area is really cleaned up now, today I will tackle finishing this trim down here in green. And then I will bring in the dresser to then paint it. And then we can do a lot. Once the dresser is painted and it's here, we can hang our walnut shelves, we can hang our wall sconces, we can move the stuff in the dining room into the hutch, and it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to that like phase of this project. So stay tuned, stick with me, it's gonna be great. Um, and I think that my room dividers for my office are coming in today, so that'd be awesome. Well, I had major luck this morning. Um, I went through just a couple of boxes in the girls' room and found the Orby and the other modem thing we need to return. The Orby is for here. Got it hooked up in my office so I can hopefully have really good signal back here. And um, just was able to quickly go through several boxes in their room that were pretty much just bedding and books. So then we got three more boxes to burn. Connor is burning those. Um, I found everything I need for my errands today, which is super, so I've got a little bit more time, so I'm going to get some laundry folded and then uh, check in on some work stuff, and we'll be heading out in about 30 minutes. Productive morning! But that's just a side table. This one has a table table. I really want these. I want one of these. That's awesome. This is awesome. Sectional with a table and a place for an umbrella. It's, that's it made out like the same material as the other couch at the old house. Yeah. But I love both of those. Either color. That would look better in the garden. Maybe. Got lots of tomatoes. And a fox love. Look at this little guy. Fun, 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 fun. Connor's like, Mom, I'm cutting you off. You're ridiculous. This is what I live for. My necklace is messed up. Ooh, look at that clean truck. Washed it while I was in town. Now we've got the tomatoes set out everywhere. We've got them over here. There's Sterling and Ernesto. Here are three of them as well as the fox love I got. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave these um, setting over here for a few days. And then we'll plant the garden with the kids when the girls come in this weekend from their mom's house. It uh, looks like the microwave and the room dividers yay, showed up. So I'm going to get uh, the room dividers at least set up before I get to work because I am so excited to see what they look like. Mm, nice. So here's the before. Connor. Look how cute this is. Brand new and it's cream colored. You see, the cabinets are white, so but it also kind of goes with these. So, I don't know if this is going to stay here or if this is going to go on the buffet. For now, we just have it in the corner. Got the room dividers up. I don't know if this is exactly where I want them to stay, but this is pretty much what I was picturing. Just kind of leaves a big enough gap over there to walk in, but just gives you a separate feeling from the bedroom while um, still allowing the light to come through. So if you come over here, then you can see how much space is on this side. <sighs> and that'll be much better for my mini Zoom call. Because now when I work, this will be my background. Nice, even if I turn this way or that way, you cannot see my bedroom, so. That is so much better. And I really like the kind of like starburst sort of like boho print that's on that. That is really cool. I don't think Maple likes the room dividers. She's hung out on the other side the last couple of hours. And then she came over here wanting to play with me like normal. And every time we would try and do tug, like her butt would hit it and it would almost knock over. 
So that's not good. Is it? Is that annoying? Oh, goodness. Hi. Whoa. Oh, you want to tell everybody hi? You want to play, don't you? So I feel like playing the avoidance game with work because I... Because I have some projects to do I don't really want to work on. So I'm going to shift to other projects I really don't want to work on. And that is this laundry room, you guys. Look at this. Wall of chaos. So much food. That pile of blankets is really the most annoying thing in this space. Because you can walk through here, but you can't get to this half-empty shelf to put stuff on it. Because of blankets. And they used to go in here. But this is blocked by junk in the floor. So it's kind of just like, I just need to shuffle stuff. And then I have two of these five boxes over here are just food. So if I can get to all my shelves, I can just put the food up, you know, it'll be fast. So I thought I would tackle this real quick. I've not filmed anything in the last few days, kind of like with a tripod showing me work because I have misplaced my tripod. <laughs> I think I have a little one somewhere. Anyways. I just took a break from um, work to play with Maple, get her some activity, and thought, you know what, I'd rather be up moving around doing stuff than sitting on my desk, so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start out with a little sped up voice over action, and I really just began moving the stuff away that was blocking that cabinet, and then sorting and purging all that bedding. I have way too much bedding, so we will be donating a ton of that. Thank goodness. Okay, so I made huge progress. I don't know how much of that you could see in the time lapse, but you see I'm climbing over mountains of things. But anyway, this area I can access again. I started, one thing we never had before was a good system for empty jars <laughs> and so there are more under here that are empty but what I've done is I've sorted out this is these are curtains I'm thinking about using somewhere in the house this is all trash or donate and this is trash it's broken and my other one of my dehydrators broken I don't know why they're back here I don't know why we kept them I'm so tired of it I'm over it so throwing it away zero guilt so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all this crap out that has to go out uh, so that I can even walk. I'm going to have to literally climb over that pile of blankets. Give me some trash bags, move this junk out, and then I'm going to kind of reorganize what's in here because I've got one quilt that doesn't belong in here. It goes on the quilt rack. And then just, I just need to get rid of this trash and see where we're at then. So I'm trying to do kind of like the sorting. I've got this beautiful big couch cover I bought last year for a couch we no longer have, but it's gorgeous and high quality, so I'm saving it. Never know. The couch we might find for the dining room might be hideous, but the perfect size, and I can put that cover on it. So so that's what I'm doing. I'm sorting. This is why I wanted to get the buffets. You guys, we just do not have enough storage for small appliances. Oh, and we love to cook. Okay. So these are the last two appliances I have in here. The rest of this stuff off to the side. Are empty mason jars, which I've got to get these gathered up. They are such a pain in the butt to be tripping over them constantly. I've literally got four, like five cases of jars here. 
one, two, three, four cases of jars over here in this corner, which they're not in the way. They're over there in the corner. So. But all these other ones I need to get up on a shelf. depressing. I'm trying to make it better for you. So on a side note about the laundry room, my long-term plan is I would love to build in a countertop on this wall with a built-in large dog kennel underneath on one half and the other half be for storage. How amazing would that be? Got too many things. I need to get this rug up and wash it and sweep. We're almost there. These are things that make me have a hard time with purging. These really cute, like, bins and baskets. And I think, I can use this somewhere. It's so cute. Maybe if I just make myself use it somewhere, like, right now. thing over here is just finishing up these jars. God. This is this was my pasta shelf before and it's like half empty. So that's cool because I've got a whole box of pasta. Alright. So I'm gonna sweep out this icky corner before I store jars here. My husband is going to be so surprised and happy. Here's nine more on a cookie sheet. Already got two cases in the corner. One, two, three, four, five cases on the shelf. Here is 13 more small ones. Yeah, buddy. My husband, like, perpetually collects containers, which is cool, but just not cool when you aren't using them and they're taking up space. I'm just going to save a few of them. Not all. Because you guys, when I say he keeps them, I mean he's like a little old granny. And he keeps every glass jar, Tupperware container. And if we used them all, it would be fine. But we don't. We're right here in the floor. Last thing here in this floor, I've got this container that has, I believe the bag that's in there is two 25 pound bags of beans in dry beans in long-term storage container, airtight. So it's just kind of always kind of jutted out of the closet here. So I've got a few more jars here. I'm going to sweep up a spot right behind here where I've got you that tub in there. Wow, this is already it's such an insane difference. My husband's going to freak out. I found these little storage containers I had. Four of the large ones will fit in there. So that is better than nothing. I'm going to turn them on their side. I'll show you what this corner looks like in a minute. Then I got six more to fit in here. Oh, that's all of them. All right, I am almost got the floor picked up enough that I can get this rug in the washer. I've got this hanging shelf. I gotta find somewhere for it um, because it's great storage. I just don't know where it's gonna live. Nice. 
Okay, look at that. So let me turn it around really quick. So it's kind of dark in there, but anyways, this is the shelf I was putting small appliances, white vinegar, and jars on. And then here's where I started putting them in the corner. Again, it's very dark, but we've got case, 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 organizers, basket. And here's where we have ones on the other side. And here's this area we just cleaned up. This was all jars, dirty rug. All clean, look at that. So nice. So now I've got this gap over here where I know my pasta stuff goes. I've got a box of literally just pasta. So I am going to wet mop this floor and then I'm going to put up the pasta stuff. I'm going to change the curtains on the back door here to match what we have in the kitchen and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I'm not done yet, but my phone was dying so I was charging it, but I wanted to show you full disclosure of almost done and what the consequences of that on the rest of the house. Look at this boxes or pot all these black bags are trash all of them I need to break down the boxes but this is probably a legit at least 10 bags of trash I can't even get through here because I was wanting to go over here and get a fan because it's hot in there um, and I can't so I'm gonna have my boys start hauling these out and I'll break down the boxes and then I can finish up this room all right you guys the floor is dry enough and um, it's like 7 30 in the evening and I've got to get back to work stuff finally so let me show you what this room looks like it's gonna be this way for a bit until we tackle like deep organizing <laughs> maple's hanging out all right so I basically just got all the food and stuff on shelves so everything that was in here is unpacked but it's nowhere organized like it was before like I used to have all my baking stuff together and cans together and right now everything is just everywhere but at least it's all unpacked okay so there's some method to madness got the new curtains up which I love they match the ones in the kitchen again we've just got food up everywhere I put a little stand fan in here for maple because it does get warm this is where she's in her kennel all night and sporadically throughout the day over here we've got laundry dog food leash aprons uh, different things that basket I kept showing you guys I decided to put um, air fresheners and refills and stuff in there which I'll just take this down and get what I need when I need it um, this back here looked better before this kind of last stuff went in this is just our carpet shampoo and vacuum there's nowhere else for them to live presently and then again this is mostly jars and small appliances this is home canned food I deep cleaned everything all the way back. There's nothing there except for like mops and stuff. And then Maple's kennel just sets here. And then I put this here because this is kind of temporary. This may end up going in our closet, but that's how it looks for now. I do have also two different bags like this with the canning rings and I got to find somewhere else to put them, but for now, at least they're together so this is the end of this project for now and the end of this video I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here um, I will be coming back probably maybe in its own dedicated video like really organizing this system and I'll more than likely be taking everything off shelves deep cleaning shelves and just reorganizing but that is a whole project in itself you guys that would take me hours and right now I'm just happy and proud to have all this space and no zero boxes in here and to be able to use this back door again because we're working really hard to train maple <sighs> she's had some accidents inside since we moved um i guess i think it's kind of typical with moving and having a younger dog she's six almost six months old um, and just them reverting a bit. She was like 99% potty trained at the other house, but we also had a doggy door and a fenced in backyard. So that made things different here. It's wide open. Um, I did buy a collar for, for an invisible fence system and I've not set it up yet. So I'm going to do that really, really soon because it would be amazing to be able to just let her out this door when I'm working during the day, knowing she can't get beyond a certain boundary and then checking on her bring her back in but right now we're literally all having to go out with her so many times a day and she has no system to let us know she needs to go so I'm gonna go back to the 
jingle bell system where we used to, we had a bell on a doorknob in my office and she would ring that doorbell if she, or jangle it basically, if she wanted to go outside, whether that was just to be outside or to go potty. She got really good with that system and we didn't need it because we put in the doggy door. So I'm going to go ahead and put that system here on this back door and we're going to get our baby gate that's right there and put it there. So during the day when I'm working, she can be in our bedroom, this hallway or the laundry room here where her kennel is and then the back door. So basically like this whole back wing she would have access to and the baby gate would assure me that she's not just anywhere all over throughout the house. There's no carpet back here except for the rug under our bed. Anyways, that just makes me feel better. I think the with puppies, they need confined spaces and set routines. And so she just needs a period of time to adjust and get kind of used to everything being different. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out today. I hope you enjoyed the transformation and everything that's been going on around here. And I hope that you will stick around, subscribe, come back, watch more. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. Side note, see that? Boys are picking stuff up. That's the dining room stuff. There's three bags left in a box and this uh, duvet I'm selling. So we did not end this project with mass chaos everywhere. That chaos already existed and that's all dining room stuff. And there's cute Maple to say bye. Bye Maple. <laughs> See ya.